because I'm on an adventure. I'm going to the gift shop real quick. Yeah, Paul is starting to have a lot more bowel movements, which is great, but they're starting to get a little bit more smellier. So I'm gonna go see if I can find some like spray of some sort real quick. Come and help me guys. Yeah, no. Oh my god, I always trip in the goddamn same spot. You guys saw that? I trip. Always in the same spot. How embarrassing. Again, in a group in front of a group of people. Again, I look like a loser who can't walk. Anyway, I couldn't find the bedroom spray. So my first mission of the day was a flop. Now I'm gonna go back upstairs and see. Cause it's almost two now if I can get some sleep and just rest because I haven't been able to rest. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Can't help it. But anyway, let's go back upstairs and I'm probably going to take a chill for a while until I got to tell Paul to get up and start moving around and jumping and whatnot. Ooh, someone's playing piano. Let's see how Paul does during a session. You're doing fabulous, my good sir. Fabulous. Are you in any pain right now? Uh, while laying down or here? Yeah. No, not really. Maybe like a one or two, just a little slight okay. discomfort. Because it gave me a tordal not too long ago with Tylenol. So that's yes, about an hour ago, yeah. I would say. Yeah, that's when it usually starts to really kick in. Yeah. So yeah, stop guess, your belly aching. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Cause I just don't like taking the Dilaudid because that really messes me up. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> You're such a party pooper. Yep, absolutely. My mom loves it. She loves I married such a boring man. Oh, I'm boring. <laughs> man. This one's never drank, never smoked, never nothing. Mm -hmm. Ugh. My mom said that he's the perfect Christian man for you. <laughs> Is it easier to get out of bed either way? Um, I've just Probably been getting out of way. bed. I've been getting out of bed just this way, whatever. <laughs> At home, I get off on that side, but mm -hmm. um, okay. just with the walker and everything, I think this, this side will be fine for right now. All right. Do you have an adjustable bed? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're lazy people like That's that. That's good mm -hmm. answers. Um, yo, actually, I was about to say, maybe we'll walk and then put the clean socks on. So that we can throw those ones away. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, you're gonna make them do a lap? We'll see. Oh, what about the stairs? That's another we'll see. Yeah. Oh, I was okay, about okay. To say, Whatever depending. you say. So I don't want to push either too much. I'll tell you the this. stairs are the main goal. Yes, um, I agree. I'll be very honest so. with you, that tutorial has helped a lot because I, I, before I was not able to sit myself up. Mm. Well, Ooh, awesome. I can't wait to see how you climb stairs. But of course, so. what? However, like a bird on a tree, I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see. From up here, the 
the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free He's up and going now. He did Sir. get what's the magic cocktail for you? So they gave me Toradol, and it's a pain medication, but it's also it helps with the inflammation. So my other pain medication, I take Tylenol as well as Oxy as needed. It everything is now working in conjunction to actually make me feel so much better, and genuinely, it has made a world of difference. Like I can actually get out of bed almost completely by myself. Yeah still in pain but i can manage to do it it's so Before, much more doable pain medication i still needed help people pulling me up or lifting yeah. my leg so this is definitely definitely the winning combination because now i can actually walk not be in pain i can sit down and stand up if i stand up the proper way i'm good all righty guys so right now we're i took a shower i got some uber eats and now we're gonna give paul a shower so give us one minute until we do that guys paul's sour we're hitting a milestone right here how do you feel about this paul feel good i want to feel more human I want yeah to and then you know so run it down his hole now since it's unpacked let's see you know how water feels and how he feels after this let's do this guys Alrighty, guys so we are done with paul's shower and i'm about to put some gauze on his stoma and we're gonna show you how it looks paul how are you doing after the shower i'm tired yeah, you look tired. Took a, took a lot out of me. I bet. But I'm happy I showered. I feel human, not disgusting and itchy and grimy all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I'm dead. <coughs> uh -huh. All right, guys. You guys are about to see what hurts to cough. So if you are not comfortable with seeing wounds, look the other way. So Paul got a few incisions. Yeah, one, two, three, three and four. four. And then this main one. And then his main where his stoma, stoma was. was. Look at that. Like, it looks like he got bit for in a zombie movie. And it's spreading out. It's trying to take over his body. Obviously, I am extremely swollen. Yes. My yes. stomach looks huge. And the swelling goes down in like eight weeks, maybe more. So, but it's also something that it's going to make everything more sensitive. This is eventually once the healing once the swelling goes down this hole may look a little bit bigger mm -hmm. which is exactly what happened with my stoma that they placed my stoma it was kind of on the small side then as this as the swelling and everything went down it got to a much bigger size i think it doubled in size actually yeah something like that so that's completely normal for right now you don't really see much but eventually you're i'm probably gonna see a little bit more and again it's only it's only like sewed up about halfway yeah so today they removed the packing which was like four inches long the weirdest feeling ever mm -hmm. they gave me a local anesthetic around here it didn't hurt but it's just the guy like he's yeah, like here hold this like, watch this but you're, you're leaking a little so there you go and yeah the guy's like holding my stomach down and he's just like slowly finagling this thing on just came out and i was just like about i was like in shock mm -hmm. it was it was literally like that long <laughs> Oh, yeah, I bet. Alright then, guys. So now it's my time to, one, put socks on Paul, and then cover up his hole, because like we said, it is leaking a little. It's like a... And we don't, we're not going to pack it, like, sticking no. our finger inside with it. Just say, just place a couple pieces of gauze over it, tape around it. That's enough. Because yeah, if not, Paul will be going through uh, gowns like crazy. Yeah, because they said this, this is 
typically normal in a few days it should stop and then i just let it with nothing on it and just let it heal on its own yeah she did like one right yeah like she did yeah just one like just that. like that yeah uh -huh. so, so we have this paper. uh paper tape here that i have some at home not much left but i do have some because i used it for my ostomy care as well just and then it's gonna... as simple as just placing it over it and that's it one on the top one on the bottom and the one on the top again, because you felt secure with that last time. Well, because it starts soaking in, yeah, and it starts exactly. the, the adhesive starts like fall, failing, you know, which is perfectly fine. So and you don't want it. one at top here? Um, I'm right here. I yeah, do it. Let's just do it. We're here. We're doing all this. We don't have to do this in the middle of the night. All right, like that. Yeah, like an that's extension. Fine. Okay. Exactly. There we go. We are done. Now it's time for me to put on socks on Paul. Not a big deal. Put this. Oh, at least I can lift my leg up. Oh, Janice is pushing it down. Sorry, I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's okay, babe. I'm messing with you. I like messing with her when I'm in pain. Shut up. You do the same to me. I never do. Mm-hmm. Them hairy toes. Yep. Those little piggies all gotta go to the barber. <laughs> Ow, don't make me laugh. There you go. How's that feel? Feels great. Right, you want another blanket on you? Not for right now. A little later. All right, guys. I think this is where we're going to end it. I'm feeling nauseous because I need to eat. I did get some Uber Eats. And Paul did a fabulous job today. You know, hopefully tomorrow in the morning he gets home and we start his real recovery at home now. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck, but we'll All fight right. through it. So, guys, this is where we ended. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. It truly means the world to us. And it helps us educate others. And don't forget to hit that notification bell up above so you can get notified when we post, which is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So stay tuned for those vlogs. And stay tuned because tomorrow, guys, we're going to be still here in the hospital, hopefully discharging and showing you Paul's transition phase now. So, guys, for now, adieu and good night.